I make a deep run early in the day, um, you know, it's not like I want to fire up another session. So my, my, my sessions are usually capped at like eight and a half hours. Some of that's just going to be being healthier. It's going to help on that front. Um, but also, like, there's going to be ways I could probably improve my mindset to make, to allow myself to play longer sessions, which is really helpful for a tournament player. And I mean, there's nothing more I want to do right now than to stream like 16 hour sessions is what I want to do. But I mean, my brain is just mush after eight hours. So I have to figure out how to get better at that. And I'm going to get better at that for sure. It's not there yet. Yeah, Komodo Dragon Jesus is a pretty cool streamer too, for sure. He's a friend of mine. I mean, I think you got timed up because we don't usually do like the, you know, the promotion thing. Like, feel free to post promotion in my thread. I know you're just talking about Komodo. Komodo's a good fr friend of mine, so I don't mind like you guys talking about him in the stream. But yeah, yeah, most of, most of the time it's a little bit. On a sick DLO heater this weekend, off stream. Dang, nice, man. Congrats. I mean, you've had a pretty awesome month. Month, so. Elky definitely doesn't suck. <laughs> Elky's pretty good at poker. Uh, but thank you. We did bust a mill. Yep. Oh, I think I updated the title. Yep. And I'm folding the five forward. The five eight is going to be folded low up here. And this knockout. I mean, let's take a look around. And our opponents. Um, we don't know that much about them. 80 popping up. Almost, almost, almost. He's king, though. Trying to catch out as fast as possible. There you go. <laughs> it's a decent problem to have. I mean, it sucks, but it's a decent problem. So, some interesting player profiles. Like, these are regs. This is a very good reg. Um, this is probably a reg. We don't really have enough hands at this point to know for sure, like, what, what their profile is like. We open get flatted. We see this board. We don't know very much about our opponent. We don't have to bet big here. It's semi for value. I mean, we're doing okay against this range for calling us. We have backdoor draws. We have two overs. It's going to be a small bet. That's a great card to barrel because we pick up outs, right? We can make a 10 now, an ace or a king is probably still the best hand. Um, and it's a scary card for our opponent, right? If our opponent has 10s through, you know, 2s, all of those cards, you know, all of those hands just got significantly more scary. And we see a 5 on the river again. I think I'm going to bet. I think there's enough, like, weak hands um, that we can get the fold. So we're going to go for three streets here. Um, and sometimes it sucks when we just get snapped off, but I think we can get a lot of their range to fold. See min raising calls like everywhere. We're gonna fold the deuce eight, getting ten to one. Fold here. And this check fold. Dang, so sick, man. Rats. All right, chili pops, good. Glad to hear. A uh, hopo in the milli. Um, good player raised onto the gun. We flatted with aces in middle position with like thirty-five big blinds. And then the big blind overcalls the flop came jack nine four two hearts um it checks to us we bet like 500 into a pot of around a thousand our opponent raises to a thousand and then we get it in for 5400 they call and they have a set of fours basically the whole breakdown hard to tilt in empty teeth and cash i don't know i don't know about that like, cash is just a, a marathon, so, like, the session never ends in cash. In tournaments, you can work on a run and, like, just bust on a flip for, you know, three buy-ins or something after four hours. I think typically that's more frustrating for people than, you know, losing a buy-in in one hand. I mean, reason the call can we overcall the king three. I think it's a bit too wide. Uh, so we're going to fold and fold the deuce eight up here. Once you get used to busting, yeah, that's the thing. Like you, uh, you get used to not winning every tournament. Part of it. Yeah.
open this from Jack, I think. I don't think I get a called by this player. I mean, this player's pretty fun. There's value here. It's a wide open, but I think it's fine. Um, can I really limp along with Super KO? I don't think so. Yeah, young blood. I, I tried my best. I was trying to be quick on it. Quick on the draw. Blinded by the small blind. It's pretty interesting. Um, there shouldn't be much of a flatting range here. Like, it's tough to put our opponent on a range. When we see that, I think we see a lot of pairs. Um, I think that's a perfect candidate to check back in that a lot of pairs aren't going to turn themselves into a block. It's really hard to get value from like, you know, 10s, 8s, 7s, 6s, 5s, 4s, 3s, 2s here. Um, even if they have a club. So I'm going to check back, maybe even do some blocks on the river. But I think most pairs are just going to check. I think we have to fold to most sizings here. Um, and can we bet the river for value? Um, yeah. Yeah, we can. I think all ace X bet and all flush bet. So I'm going to bet really small and try and get a, a peel from one of those pairs. And we see ship in early position from Ash. We're going to fold. I'm guessing like seven, sixes, eight, something like that. Nine, ten. Nine, ten suited. Okay. I guess that's a reasonable peel. Uh, what bankroll do you think you can comfortably play loaded medium tournament? It really depends on you. See, Cadia, uh, Cardia, because it, it depends on what your life situation is, right? How big your edge is on the field, what the average size fields uh, you're going to be playing are. So it's really different for a lot of people. See, Cardia, uh, some people are going to want 50 buttons and some people are going to want 1,000. Uh, my general guideline is 100 for people that, you know, aren't really sure where they should start. I'd say 100 buy-ins is good, but you really have to tailor it to your lifestyle and your goals with poker and you as a person. But more than you think, probably, is a good way to approach it. Ten ball, I uh, so sick. Jack ten aces. I get it. I'm gonna put up this eight dollar one eighty man tournament bit on table two. We get more going. What's baby? What's up, baby? Relax. Yeah, Nano was saying he was gonna play the Sunday billion, which is like a play chip tournament, which is kind of cool. Ontdekken shampoo die meer doet dan een anti roos shampoo alleen. Alpha Sin met dubbel effect. Het eerste effect: roos wordt verwijderd. Tweede effect: het caffeine complex voorkomt haaruitval. Alpha Sin shampoo met dubbel effect. Limp it and then isolation. We're gonna fold the queen six and the bigger 55. I don't know if there's a Sunday billion for real money. Mm. Holy crap! Imagine if there was like a like a 10k buy in every Sunday on stars, it would run too. Like, it would actually run, it wouldn't be good for the sites though, because all the money would like move up and out of the economy. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <coughs> Billion dollar prize pool is almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I'm sure you guys have seen that lyric video on, on how big a billion is. It's pretty cool. If not, you can just Google how big is a billion and look for um, videos. Old. Oh, Herbert. Um, well, thank you, man. I don't necessarily agree um, to the first half of that. I think there's a lot of really amazing people in poker. Um, and, you know, being sort of social is usually one of my skills. Um, I don't know. I still get self-conscious in, in some situations. But in general, I feel like I'm an extrovert. Um, I like talking to people and hanging out with people. But I don't think the people that... Um, that aren't comfortable doing that or haven't done that before don't hold merit. Uh, you know, I think poker is a great game for that as well. Online poker specifically. You can just 
get down to work, right? You can just sit at home and really work on your game hard and show success. So I think I don't discount that. Um, but yeah, I do think that's like a really important thing to streaming is being interactive. Like you, you need to be somewhat interactive with your audience. That's what's different, and that's why you know traditional entertainment is just going to shift away because I mean, who doesn't want to be a part of the show, right? I love it. I love watching streams here on Twitch, and you get to talk to the people that are doing the show. LTS. I mean, it's just like a constant chat spam um, of people's feelings. Like, you know, they can subscribe or they can donate, and it pops up on the screen, and they become part of the show. It's like this is the future of entertainment. And me and my brother were talking about like hockey, right? Imagine walking a hockey, watching a hockey game on Twitch with Twitch chat. It'd be so amazing, man. The jokes be hilarious. It'd be way more entertaining to chat with other people about what's going on than to just watch it at home. It's more social. It's more fun. So, um, yeah, I, I, that is a long roundabout way of saying that I think there's merit to people that feel more introverted. And I don't think they're wrong for being that way. Um, but I definitely think it helps to be somewhat outgoing while you're streaming. Don't you think if you want to play a tur win a tournament, you have to make some crazy plays and not play safe kind of like you do? I don't think so, Tess Bills, no. Uh, no, it, it's like you're just trying to make profit, right? So you can't rely on luck luck in the long run. Like it, you're just going to lose. So you have to try and make the most profitable plays you can. And yeah, you're not often going to win the tournament, right? You guys have seen my stats. I cash 19% of the times. You don't win tournaments very often. But on average, your outliers... Um, those amazing results are going to hit a win more for a player that's playing really good than someone that isn't. What's up, uh, Big Disco Sample? Been lurking for a while, but I had to sign up on Twitch to thank you for putting out an entertaining and informative stream. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Man, woman, person, whoever, thank you. Um, my wife and I are going on vacation this week, so you can have my poker run good for the next week. Vamos. All right, man. Have a good vacation. Um, and thank you so much. I need it. I need to run good hype. Good luck. I'm busting some. Good luck, good luck. Oh, no way. Really? Elki was giving me shout outs? That's awesome, man. I haven't met Elki yet, but I'd love to meet him. I mean, the guy has been a staple of the community for a long time. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I can't believe it's real life. Sunny Millions confirmed gone. Jack, it's act. What's going on? Um. Get there. Hold. Ship it. Ready, MLG. What's up, man? you play offline tournaments? I do, Greg. Yeah, I'll be at the World Series this summer for a couple events. Hope to see you there. Uh, the opening event, the online event, the 777, and hopefully the main event. So, yeah, uh, for sure it's going to be good times. I really love live poker. With Twitch poker being so new, I'm super motivated to get better at, you know, playing online and, and streaming because I think this is like a career um, that I'd like to pursue regardless of, of what happens in my life. Um, I really like doing this. So I'm working hard on, on getting better at this and sort of participating in this industry as well as poker. But I definitely plan to do play to play more live poker in the future for sure. Uh, so the nines is interesting here. We can three bet call, I think, like break even ish against this player. I'm actually gonna flat allow the fun player to come along and be able to make some reads based on sizing, um, on flops and flop textures and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a weird flat. We're not flatting very many hands in the slot. But, um, hey, I guess we got balance with our aces, right? <laughs> What's up, Jay Dombeck22? Internet cut out. How are you doing today, boss? Same thing. Internet cut out for us for a couple or for a little while, but um, it's back now. It's running. It's good to go. Um, we busted the million. Kind of sad. And we have. Dang it. I don't know this player. Um, I don't know how we get the fold. Maybe we just have to fold to the squeeze though. It's too strong. 
We should like maybe Ace King suited, probably not though. Ace King and Dang, maybe Jack Plus. Just like a man with crush there. Ace Queen off, I think that's too wide. I don't know what it's worth. Squeeze there. Especially with nines being made, we probably have our range. <laughs> Alright, good luck, bet to vu. Buy Twitch talk when it goes public, yeah man. For sure. Want to see me triple barrel? I do sometimes, but I mean the thing is, if like, it just doesn't make sense against a, a, you know poor players very often against like this. I don't think, anyways, because they're just not folding pieces. So I think one and done works a lot, and then against good players you can triple. Yeah. What's up, Toto? Thanks for hanging out. How's life? Yeah, we lost to Millie. We got the big 55 on table one, which is the most exciting right now. Yeah. Thank you, Kenny J. Thanks, man. Are you playing tables off screen? I have two off screen. Just 180 man tournaments. Yeah. Um, it's Sunday. Read some stuff. I mean, it's weird. We got, like, chopped up. We played a couple hours this morning. The internet went down. Then we got back up. And then... We busted the millies, so I don't think I'm going to play like a huge long session in that I normally end my session about two and a half hours from now. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday with good stuff. Just going to open the King Queen. Suited under the gun, but um, yeah. Hopefully there's still value here anyways. I used to play versus Elke a lot in the Brood War days. Guys was a sick player, but I still got some wins versus him. That's sick, Chronic 420. Yeah, he, um... Excuse my ignorance. Is Brood War an independent game? Uh, I just know him from StarCraft. I played StarCraft, like, when I was very, very young. Like, maybe 10 games. So I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, but I, I knew him. He started there and then went to poker. I don't know if, um... Brood War is a different game. Or if that's like related to Zergling. Zergling, Protoss, and Terran. Right, so. It's fun. It's fun game. So anybody you call the four bet in the ace queen uh, in the three thirty? Sure. It's worth reading. Um, because essentially I think at this stack depth, which is twenty five big blinds, that we have enough value against his range that we can call. I think our opponent does this with like ace 10, probably ace 9 suited plus uh, for value and all pairs. So against that range, we're doing really well, um, which I know seems crazy, right? Like if you just play live poker or something and you see someone four bet all in, like your ace queen isn't doing well. But in online poker, when we're both playing, you know, reasonably aggressive and we have some sort of reputation, there's definitely going to be value there in ace queen for the feeder. Uh, I see an open and a call on the call. It's going to be over. Just say too weak. Just say too weak. What's up, Totalco? How's it going? Thanks for being here. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. It's too bad we busted the million. I was really looking forward to just shaking hands this week. But I guess we'll do it next Sunday. But of course, I'll be back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We got the home game Thursday. Good stuff. Have you seen recent uh, Legend Elky started streaming? I did, man. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Pretty awesome. See a limp and a raise? Um. I think we see a lot of limp behind from pairs here. I don't think we're doing well enough against this range to three bet. Um, the question is, can we flat with the fun player in the pot? We're definitely not deep enough to set mines. How often do we get to showdown is sort of the answer, and I don't think it's very much. Move forward. We're slightly deeper, we could play. And seven, six lines, we're flying against this player we don't know anything about. I'm gonna try a limp and stab. That ace queen gem looks ace ace lot looks uh look great. Uh, we get ice out here. We're gonna call getting a good price uh, with this sort of dynamic and check holding the board. Um, ace queen ace queen gem. I forget if you're referring to the three rebuy jpeg. I'm not sure what you mean. I know you're playing right now, so don't I mean don't be bothered if you're too busy. But uh, here's what you mean on that front. How 
many tables right now? It's six. 30k up top is all right too, I guess, yeah. I mean, there is uh, 33k up top in this one. Right now. I'm still registering though. For another 29 minutes. Probably get 30 ticks. What's up, the great Donnie? Oh, okay, Connor. All right, man. So, yeah. Yep, grinding along. Another 8 3 guy going. Oh, we got that 5 hyper. That'll be a fun one to play. 5 hypers are good because the antis are big, so you can just play like so many hands possibly. Uh, it's just insane. We're gonna get in there. Because the, the antis and hypers are bigger, and not a lot of people know that. So, essentially, here you can see like the antis make a double a big blind, which you just you have to go crazy. You can go insane, leveraging your stack. Okay. Food Wars is a StarCraft 1 expansion. Alright. I've never played StarCraft 2, by the way. I only played the original. Alright. 10 6 is going to be a fold. Let's put this 5 hyper in. It's going to be much more interesting than uh, this 8 play. Let's put it up. Friend of the, not friend of the stream, but a regular here. Alright. Can reach the add-on. This is like a 3 rebuy tournament, not a 180 man. By the way, so this one's sort of big. This tournament used to be huge, it was actually my first big score. It used to be 60k guaranteed, um, and I got 5th, I think, for 2700 um, back when I first started. This, I mean, if I wouldn't have got 5th in that tournament, I wouldn't be here. So, um, yeah, it sort of launched everything for me. So I've got a sp soft spot in my heart, although I don't play it that often. I do enjoy it. the best tip for getting your bankroll started playing online poker. Love your stream by the way. Thank you, Inno Some fan. Thanks. Um well I mean bankroll management is the most important because you're not like I think playing, right? Just playing so that you, you can earn return, right? The if you have a certain ROI, if you play a bunch, you're gonna earn a lot of money. Um Evelyn opens here, we're gonna defend getting a very good place. A seven. That said bankroll management sort of goes along with that. Uh, in that you're not going to be able to realize your edge if you don't have enough money behind. So that's really, really important. Um, yeah, and I mean, try and be objective and study your game. Try and make rational decisions. Watch streams here on Twitch. Check out some of the training sites down below. Um, yeah. Oh, hopefully that's a decent answer. Team Min raising a call. Can we overcall the A7 Suda? I think so. Since that guy was jamming your 9-9 uh, flat with ace-queen, flatting ace-ace as you did before is extremely profitable. Um, nine, nine, oh, right, right, right. Over, it was up here, right? Yeah, this one, okay. This one. Uh, do we bet here, like, five ways? Yeah, really small, though. Yeah, so is this table, the 9-9 flat? There we go. Okay. So 
though, since the guy was jamming, your 9 9 flat with ace, uh, ace queen, flatting ace ace is a big force, extremely powerful. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's a different tournament, but yeah. I mean, in general, I think that dynamic is sort of nice. Uh, Gyro raises us here. Um, I don't think we can continue. Yeah, no problem, JPEG. No problem at all, man. What's with the red felt? It's the feature table. It's the bigger 55. We're going to start doing that now. Like, highlight the most exciting table in red. Do you ever do anti-up NTTs in, like, series? So during scoop, there's an anti-up NTT. During W coop, um, T coop, there wasn't, I don't think. Micro millions will be an anti-up that I'll probably play. But yeah, I play them. I mean, it's not a big part of the daily schedule. But I like the idea. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep, exactly, Sambo. Thank you, Gusto. Yeah, I'm using I'm using boot camp, uh, Fred. So I'll hopefully, so I'm I'm booting into Windows on my Mac um, to use Jabaro and and to be able to have access to some other sites. The streaming software is also a little bit better on Windows. I mean, you can do it with Mac. I did for months. Um, the main reason is Javaro because I couldn't show off the product on Mac because it doesn't work obviously, and they're a massive supporter of the stream, and I like it. Uh, you know, put all those three things together, so that was the main reason I switched. Um, but I know they have plans in the future to expand to more, um, to more software, more operating systems. Excuse me. You play hockey? No, not really. As fan, like I have played before. Um, my family has a cabin on a lake, so I've played hockey there. But I didn't play organized hockey, and I don't think I.